People who live and work in a Fort Worth neighborhood where a street takeover turned deadly say street racing is a real problem. It happened last night at the intersection of University Drive and White Settlement Road. Officers came to break up the takeover event, but one of the drivers sped away. Police say she ended up crashing her Camaro. She and one of her passengers died. Fox News David Centendry live in Fort Worth. David. Yeah, the deadly crash came after an illegal street racing takeover event in the middle of this busy intersection behind me. Now, again, we know street racing is illegal, but still some people in North Texas continue to do it. We see it in Dallas. We see it in Fort Worth. We see it in places in between. People on this side of town say it's out of control. Fort Worth police say the driver of a red Camaro sped away from a street racing scene, lost control, and crashed Sunday night. A female driver and three men were inside. The woman and one of the men died. Now every day when I come to the office, I'll think about those two lives that were lost. The crash happened in front of Crash Brothers Paint and Body. Owner Chris Garcia says he's thinking of the families of those killed. It's a very sad thing and that'll be always hard for anyone to overcome. So the best to them. Police responded to reports of cars blocking the intersection of University Drive and White Settlement Road while doing burnouts. Officers arrived to break it up, activating overhead emergency lights. Police say the driver of the Camaro shut off her headlights and drove away. Police did not chase it. It appears the driver sped off along White Settlement Road for about a mile, but failed to navigate this traffic circle and drove down this hill. Eventually, the Camaro flipped and two people inside lost their lives. People who live in this area say, unfortunately, street racing and stunting is far too common. I spoke with the president of the Linwood Neighborhood Association, and she tells me, quote, this has been an ongoing issue every Sunday night. Last night's situation, as soon as I heard it, I knew exactly what was happening. The surviving male passengers, 21 and 20 years old, are stable in hospitals. No charges will be filed against them, according to police. You can still see some signs of the crash outside Garcia's business, including tire marks on the hill. Probably within the last three weeks, another car went down just over there. You can still see the tracks in the grass. Additional tire marks off to the right highlight another vehicle Garcia says recently drove down the hill. Police did not release an approximate speed the Camaro was traveling when it crashed. Garcia says speed and this roundabout is a recipe for disaster. There's just been too many accidents here and something has to change. We are still waiting for the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office to release the names of those two people who were killed. Clarice.